Cylon gives me strength. Achilles, Hades needs you. Go to the gates and guard them with your life. Heracles, rise up and be a hero for Hades and for all the people in the underworld. This place needs a king, Agamemnon. Go to the gates and protect the people the way you do best. the monger let's hear it i'm ready exceptional i'll distract the prisoners while you head straight to the monger we can't let him escape once you defeat him take him to the deepest abyss of tartaros you'll have to pass through the entrails of gaia to get there entrails of uh, never mind let's go We make a good pair. At first I was worried you wouldn't stick to the plan. You haven't been very trusting of me. Can you really blame me? You and the cult destroyed my life. I understand, but tell me you see that I've changed. That I'm trying to do good in death, where I failed in life. I cannot move on without your acceptance. Suppose you have changed a bit. My dear Eagle Bearer, you have no idea what your forgiveness means to me. 
Who said anything about forgiveness? I feel as though I can finally move on. Hades. I... We returned the monger to Tartarus for you, just as you asked. I made no such request. But you referred to the monger as a thorn in your side. And you inferred that I wanted him returned. Clearly you still have much to learn, Elpinor. We'll discuss this later at my palace. Still, I'm on my way to eternal peace. Thanks to you, I believe you're forgetting something, brother. Why would you help your enemy? find peace. I thought you and Elpinor were working together. Elpinor was merely a means to further along your far more interesting journey. Any chance this means you'll teach me more about the staff now? Patience, Keeper. A few more twists are still to come along your path. I'm looking forward to seeing how it all plays out. First Elpinor, now you. I I'm so sick of everyone using my life for their entertainment. It's far more than that. What are you talking about? You'll know soon enough. Cassandra returns. Victory written across her face. Where's your brother? Not here to settle any bets? It's already been settled. He lost. The gates have their guardians. Haron's lost souls have found peace. Now, tell me what you know about the staff. <laughs> I never promised you that. I promised to fulfill your destiny. Enough games, Hades. I did as you asked. We had a deal. You were never in a position to bargain with me. Your life was mine. The moment you killed Cerberus, I could have had anyone place guardians at those gates. Truth is, I needed you to grow accustomed. What are you talking about? Oh, did I not mention? I have a fifth gate. And you're going to spend the rest of eternity protecting it. That is your destiny. I didn't bow to your wife, and I won't bow to you. Oh, you fucking bow. Shame it has to end this way. Collect this! Collect this. All you pathetic humans end up here eventually. Why fight it? Last chance. Work for me, or suffer forever. Listening to you? I've suffered enough!
I don't see what's funny. You act like any of this matters. But you're a prisoner wherever you are. Victoria, what did you do? You guys okay down there? Cut the comms! This has gone way too far. I'm shutting this down. I can handle it. You're not acting like yourself. You're acting like a child. Look at you. Can't you see what the staff is doing? Plugging into Themos's memories. Letting you run rogue in the underworld? It's the bleeding effect. It's hurting you. You need to stop. Give it back, now! No! It's me or the staff! You have to choose! Let go! It's not worth it! This is for your own! Get up, Victoria! would never do this. Do this? Victoria was my friend. It wasn't me. This it... won't work. I need time. You think I did this on purpose? It was the staff, Alethea. I'm not a bad person. I don't kill. The air of memories in my vision had foresight. Your reaction was entirely human and inhumane. I fear you'll learn nothing from what I've created for you. I am the heir of memories. I can control the staff. Listen to me. I know I can do it. That is not for you to decide. I decide your worthiness. Though it may be too late for that. Fine. I'll go for a while. Just... Don't let anything happen to her, okay? And don't leave. Please. I'll be back. I'm not going anywhere. Damn it. I'm sorry, Victoria. But I can't quit now. Back so soon? Alethea, I know I wasn't gone long in the Animus, but I couldn't wait. I've been thinking about whether or not I should let you continue. And I have my answer, but I'm afraid you won't like it. Don't tell me I can't go into the third simulation. I'm sorry, Layla. I made a miscalculation, and I factored you in when it was a mistake to do so. I see that clearly now. It's time for you to leave Atlantis. You can't do this. Not now! I've seen Elysium and the Underworld. You can't take that away. If I'd known this reality would go the direction it did, you wouldn't have seen any of it. You're too human. Your DNA has succumbed to the corrupting nature of the staff. Listen, I know the bleeding effect is real, and accessing Themos's memory did affect me. But I've studied Isu artifacts. This is the last stage of my trials. When it's over, my DNA will be able to overcome the staff's control. Perhaps. But you won't see that through. My simulations are closed to you. Hear me out. What happened before Victoria was horrible. But how can I learn to control my impulses if I don't know more about the staff? This is about more than your lesson. 
I wanted creation, but you brought destruction. Only because I haven't learned everything yet. You wanted to teach me, and I still want to be taught. Give me another chance. Even if I were to let you in, your doctor is dead. If I could take that back, I would. But I can't, and I have to keep going. From her calculations, your body wouldn't be able to withstand the simulations. My body is fine. The staff kept Cassandra alive for thousands of years. I've got a protection guarantee. Your mind is a different story altogether. You don't have the sense to see its degradation. When you break it down, this staff heals, Alethea. I could come out of this smarter, more in control. Invincible. That's quite a leap in logic. Just let me see for myself. Please. Go. Oh my god, thank you. You won't regret this. Here we go. I'll see you inside. That's enough! No need to shout. This isn't your domain, brother. Hey, this has nothing left to offer you. You are never meant to stay here. Nor Elysium. You didn't belong on Gephalonia, and you didn't belong in Sparta. I can offer you a place you do belong. It's time you finally found it. Atlantis awaits. Anywhere is better than here. I won't forget this. There's no need for that here. You're safe. I've heard that before. This place isn't like any other you've been. There's no Persephone, no Hades. Just you. Just me. The Castis Vasilevs, the grand adjudicator of all Atlantis. But to you, I am Poseidon. What I'm offering you, Keeper of the Staff, is a place at my side. Join me as my Gustis. Welcome home. This is the real Atlantis. I mean, it's intact. I, th I thought this city was destroyed. Every seven years, our great city begins a new cycle. If judged to be imperfect. And who's the judge? Before your arrival, it was my decision alone. Now that I have you at my side, I intend for this cycle to last an eternity. If you're the Dicastis Vasilevs, you expect me to be... The Gazdis, the judge. Be my hand in laying and enforcing judgment in Atlantis. Well, I must warn you that I'm not always right. I was both surprised and encouraged by your actions in the underworld. Fortunes were exchanged in response to your choices. But trust that I learned your reverence to justice is true. Hades must have told you about my staff. He didn't have to. As is the way with all heroes, your journey has become the staff of Atlantean legend. Then you know my staff is the reason I'm here. I need to learn how to master it. This land is a paradise of power for those with issue devices. But all in good time. So you expect me to live among you? A home among gods? Gods? 
We are much more than the human conception of gods. Your father called us the ones who came before. But as Alithia told you, we are the issue. You know about my stuff, Pythagoras and Alithia? I'm starting to feel very watched. Your trials in both Elysium and the Underworld? No, your triumphs there are known to us. My trials forced me into rebellion. They made me face the dead. My hardships make me a good Dicastis. We don't always choose our path. But in this case, your blood shows for you. You possess both DNA strands. The best of humans and Isu. I have no doubt that you are our mutual future. It's an honor. Where do I start? Humans have five senses to understand the world around them. We have been blessed a sixth. Knowledge. Ah, no! It is not merely your vision of the ego. The essence of that sense sleeps now. But it can be awoken in Atlantis. Your stuff is more than a key. It's a bridge between who you are now and who you must become. And if I fully awaken this sixth sense, I'll have mastered the staff? That and more! Come, let me show you. I accessed power sources in Elysium and the Underworld. They helped my knowledge, I think. But they haven't changed my senses. In Atlantis, you'll find the sources that awaken your new sense much more concentrated. Not only will your knowledge grow here, but it will thrive. You'll find three such sources once you leave this palace. You know them as Keeper's Insights. Doesn't look like anyone can get through. It's blocked to those who haven't full access to our knowledge. Find the source of that knowledge within this palace. Try to pass through once you do. Strange, but it feels like the stuff is becoming a part of me. I think I'm starting to understand. It's like I can feel Isu memories and hear their wisdom. Now I know what you meant about the sources being more concentrated. I feel different. Many things are different here, the Castis. You'll discover that in time. Atlantis awaits you. I have one rule that is absolute. Our technology cannot be used on my human civilians. Their bodies cannot withstand the power. The Isu know this above all. So, I'm free to go? What task should the Dicastis do first? Even Atlantis is not a perfect society. It yearns for balance. So be that balance. Then when your role as guide to the people is fulfilled, it may well be perfection. Don't worry. You've already earned my respect, which is a trial in itself. Castis, His Eminence Atlas humbly requests that you join him at his doma to discuss a matter of grave importance. Right. I'll make sure to stop by. His Eminence? This place is more kings than Sparta.
άρχεστε ο άνθρωπο. Was in that box. Bodies tingling like mad. There must be more of these somewhere. That's the murderer. Murderer? I didn't do it. Stop her before she kills again. Leave me alone. I'll be going to Want to tell me what that no. was all about? I'll be fine. The Castis. You can make this all go away. My name is Lira, and you're... you! You've helped so many people, you're amazing and wonderful and powerful and... And you're here! Thank you. That's nice of you. You deserve all the praise and more. They called you a murderer. You don't seem the type, but as the Castis, I have to be sure. They're sure I'm responsible for what happened to that poor family! They said it's like the other murders, but I couldn't leave it myself, I swear! Please, please clear my name! Where were you when the family was murdered? If it happened last night like they said, I was here trying to sleep. Although lately it's been restless, filled with strange dreams. It's always the same one, over and over. Were you alone? Well, yes. I've been so tired lately, I decided to stay in. You said something about other murders. This was the... third time. I just don't understand why they blame me. I, I don't have the stomach to do... that? I'll find out what really happened. Just point me in the direction of the attack. Just down the road. Uh, not too far from here. If I were you, I'd hide until I return. Oh, good idea. Thank you. You truly are a great de Castis. Maybe someone around here... Is this about what happened last night? How do you know? It's all everyone's talking about. And if the Tijastis is here, you must be looking into it. If you saw or heard anything, I need to know. I saw it from the distance. Heard it too. Its howl will never leave my mind. You saw a wolf? Beast is more like it. If you see it, run! I'll be careful. Ah, the great Ligastis. What did I do to deserve a visit? I'm looking into the attack that happened nearby last night. Ah, of course. I thought that was meant to be handled already. You mean the mob harassing that woman? Uh, I've said enough. I'm the Ligastis, remember? Trust me. People who don't tell me what I want to know end up regretting their silence. You've already met the guilty one. Lyra? You agree with the mob? Of course I do. I'm the one who told them it was her. I saw her last night, bloody and in a frenzy. It was dark. How do you know it was her? I know what I saw. These footprints struck the blood out of the house. Whoever murdered them left this way. These aren't stamp wounds. They're claw marks. This bloodied cloth doesn't match the mother or daughter's robes. It must have come off the murderer. I should return to Lyra and let her know what I found. Well, did you find out what happened? The evidence I found was conflicting. Tell me. Two people saw what happened. One woman heard a wolf howling. But a man said he saw you, covered in blood and leaving the family's house. He's lying! Or mistaken. It was dark, so it could have been anyone. There's more. The killing blows weren't made by a weapon. Then by what? It almost looked like claw marks. And then there was this piece of cloth. It didn't match the clothes of anyone there. That's... that's mine! How did it get there? Someone wants me to look like I was responsible. Tell me the truth, de Castis. Whether it was a wolf or something else, it's clear it wasn't you. Of course it wasn't, but why would someone make it seem like I'm the murderer? We'll figure that out together. After I kill the beast. You're going to kill it? What other choice is there? 
Do you want another mob after you? No, of course not. I've just always hated the killing of animals. If I don't kill it now, it will kill someone later. I have a friend who can keep me safe while you end this. I need to find the beast and kill it before it grows bloodthirsty again. This is no ordinary wolf! Wallaka! Lira! It was me! What am I? I've seen this before. Minotaur, Cyclops, Horon. All were humans possessed by powerful issue devices. The only way I could stop them was by killing them. But you're able to change back. Somehow you're different. I don't remember coming here. Or why? I had to guess. That side of you knew it was caught. Maybe it thought coming out here was the only choice it had. That side of me. I've had dreams lately of being in the bright room, tied down, pain throughout my body. But now, I think that all really happened. I did kill them then. I don't remember it, but it was me, wasn't it? If you knew you would harm people again, and you could never control yourself, never stop, would you? Would I what? Jump? If I lost control of myself and knew I'd never get it back, I'm not sure what I'd do. I thought so. This is the only way. If I'm to die, I want to be the one to decide when that happens. You don't need to do this. The choice was made for me. I can't go on after what I've done, and what I'd likely do again. Thank you. For everything. her fault of course I wouldn't there are always answers how could that be it feels so permanent it's only one part of you it's not all of you I know what it's like to be part human and part something else trust me you can live with his burden I'm not as strong as you are look at yourself yes you are you're stronger than you think. Plus, I've been thrown off a cliff before. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> uh, but you're still here. I am. And you are too. You're right. Now that I know what's inside of me, I can do something about it. And I know who can help. Thank you. Technology can and will change whoever isn't strong enough to command it. That explains your own aggression, Layla. I'm still me. I'm not as weak as you think I am.
Ah, you've arrived! I'm honored that the Castis would accept my humble request. Ah. You're Atlas, I take it. In the flesh. I thank you for coming to see me. I'm sure you're very busy. The burden my father gave you is not a light one. Your messenger told me it was urgent. Gravely urgent, indeed. Well, here I am. It's my brothers, the Archons. They have issues with the human populations under their control. Tensions between Isu and humans are mounting. Without order, the problems will grow severe. I'll try and use my position to help them where I can. Find Hadiros, Amphiris, and Azeas. Through your shining example, I hope they learn the valuable lessons in discipline they so desperately need. And if I help them, you're hoping it'll maintain the peace between Isu and humans. That's the plan. Poseidon should have known they weren't ready for the responsibility an Archon bears. But that's his failing. Tell me about Gaviros. You'll find him near the arena. Hard at work planning his next exhilarating spectacle, I'm sure. What should I know about Amphiris? He's probably off terrorizing people near the fortified Doma of Ochtonos. Make sure you don't sneak up on him. He's quite jumpy. What about Azais? Who is he? You'll find dear Azais wherever there is humanitarian work to be done. I heard there were some issues near the Doma of Amphiris. We have Archons where I'm from. Do they fulfill the same duties? They are charged with overseeing and ruling the humans of Atlantis. Ensuring all live comfortably and peacefully. A job at which I fear they're failing. There always seems to be unrest between the two races. The Underworld and Elysium were no different. Time passes and tensions keep building. I expected my father to handle it. But Atlantis grows steadily worse, and no one wants to see what could happen if precautions are not taken. I'll find the Archons, and make sure their problems are taken care of. <clears throat> What have I missed? What must I do? Azais? You have your hands full. Vigastis, you're a welcome sight. The only one I've had in some time. So many sick. I'm surprised that anything can spread in a place as advanced as this. Oh, it's shocking. Nothing I have tried will cure the sick or stop the pathogen spreading. I've lost so many already. When did you first notice people were getting sick? At the start of this cycle. It began quite slowly and I didn't think much of it. But then the cases grew rapidly day by day. The more that fell sick, the faster the pathogen spread. You seem really worried. Have you ever seen a sickness like this before? No. There are many odd phenomena during this cycle. Plants dying, strange insects, and animal attacks. I worry about what this could signify. Don't worry. We'll find a way to stop the sickness. Tell me what you need. Well, there was a device being worked on by a scientist named Consus. Its intention was to rapidly heal injuries and eradicate disease. Was? His device is missing. Scientists here have tried to replicate it based on the schematics, but it's still in the experimental phase. And it hasn't been tested on humans. So it may not work. That's not the biggest issue. Poseidon has outlawed the use of our technology on humans. I fear that if we don't act quickly, the pathogen will spread across Atlantis. If you think this healing device can help the sick, then I'll make sure that you have it. The wisdom of an issue, but the compassion of a human. You were a good choice for the Gustis. You'll find the device in one of the issue laboratories in the Consus archive. Metal 
metal is heavy. And here's a note. Forge of Atlantis. This can be used to create weapons. I have to find this place. A missile device. It's like nothing I've ever seen. I've brought the... Uh, glowing cloth you've asked for. It's a nanotech matter regenerator, in fact. But you have it. I can't believe it. What the fuck did you do? I thought I had calibrated correctly. Oh no, what have I done? I killed this poor human. The device doesn't work and you stole it against Poseidon's laws. What do we do now? This device is your only chance of stopping the sickness. You need to keep trying. Yes, you're right. Not trying will just mean more innocent lives are lost. I think if I make some adjustments, I can get it to function on humans correctly. Everyone seems to be looking much better. Well, almost everyone. The device still needs work, but it has incredible potential. Poseidon won't be happy that we broke his law. But I'm glad you were the one to do it. In any case, I'm eternally grateful for your help. Thank you. That's one Archon helped. I hope they're not all this intense. That must be Amphiris. Why so many guards? Let her pass. Amphiris, if this is how you treat humans, I can see why you need so many guards. These aren't humans. They are animals. An animal should be in cages. I'm sure everything you do isn't without reason. But if you didn't call them animals, you might get a better reaction. A human did this to me while I slept. When they came to kill me, I survived. But they slaughtered my daughter like an animal. Humans don't act with logic or reason. Good or bad, they are driven by a will to survive. A trait we implanted to ensure efficiency. But that will become a kindled flame of insurrection. You led a rebellion yourself in Elysium. So I know you understand. If we don't act, the city will burn and many more lives will be lost. I don't see an army marching on Poseidon. This one said they plan to launch an attack. Someone needs to destroy the resistance before that happens. That's not a small request. Despite what you think, all humans aren't a threat. It is the only path I see. But you are the Dicastis. Only you can choose the correct course of action. Killing people will just make the fire spread faster. Now, if we destroy their supplies and their weapons, they can't oppose the issue. I admire your optimism. But I fear it would not be enough. However, it's your decision to make. Just leave it to me. I'll send a message they won't forget. Very well. You'll find the traitorous humans at an abandoned farmstead. Return to me when the situation is resolved. If the leader's dead, the resistance is over. Vicastis, I'm glad to see you return safely. I almost consider sending a regiment of my guard after you. That would have been overkill. You can never be too careful when dealing with violent humans. Come, tell me. 
Has their resistance been quashed? I killed the leaders. With them gone, their movement is dead. Ah, a sound strategy. But I fear the problem exists at the heart of humanity itself. Another leader will rise eventually. And when a new leader rises, we will remove them as well. It's the best way to prevent your fears from happening. Your strategy is logical. But to be ever vigilant is a daunting prospect. Perhaps it's a weight someone must always carry. For now, that someone is you. Resistance if they have no supplies. Vicastis, I'm glad to see you return safely. I almost considered sending a regiment of my guard after you. That would have been overkill. You can never be too careful when dealing with violent humans. Come, tell me, has the resistance been quashed? I destroyed their supplies and equipment. You believed you saved lives by being merciful, but the truth is that more will die in the end. I promise you, they're no threat. You underestimate them. Yes, you've taken their means of striking now, but they would regroup and find more weapons. All you have done is delay the inevitable. I'm going to go. Maybe I should just do their jobs too. Ten the stars. I was beginning to lose all hope. Atlas said you needed help. You don't understand the responsibility on my shoulders. It's my job to concoct entertainment for the masses. But I fear the crowd have grown bored of my grand spectacles. I've seen some good plays. We need and more than a simple play. Ones. If the audience leave my shows bored and restless, who knows what they'll start plotting? You think they'll become violent? My purpose is to keep them preoccupied so they can't be violent. If your shows have become boring, you just need to get more creative. Oh, the humans are primitive. Their taste's basic. They like life's simpler joys. Blood, tragedy, romance, that sort of thing. So give the people what they want. What they want, yes. Yes. I can hear the cheers now! The legendary Dicastis Cassandra takes on Atlantis' finest warriors! You must take part in my next event! Sounds like a Pangration. I can definitely help with that. Not exactly. But I was inspired by your efforts in Elise. I know you'll do an exemplary job entertaining the crowds as you did then. If we pull this off, we'll be the talk of the city! It's worth a try. Welcome one, welcome all to yet another miraculous show here in our beloved city. Tonight we have a very special guest. Nautica Steve of Atlantis is here to entertain you. Our show's first talent comes from the vaults of Atlantis itself. And our mighty Dicas has overcome the power of the Atlantean gods. Let's find out! Alright, Be entertaining. That's what he said. This is definitely not a Pangration. Our valiant hero's next challenge fast approaches. A champion bested by none in the city. No mercy, no guilt. Will this be too much for even the Dicassis to overcome? The champion has been bested! Our mighty Dicastis is victorious and the crowd have spoken! But will she show mercy, or will she spill the blood we want? If you don't appease the crowd, I fear what Gadiros will do. It was an honor to fight you, Dicastis. 
You don't deserve to die just for losing. Our merciful Vicastis has passed judgment. But do not dismay. Our champion lives to fight another day for you, the audience. And here we are, the end of today's event. Next to face our Vicastis' judgment, the very scum that By taints our city. What is this? For the good of Atlantis, today bear witness to the guilty and condemned given one final chance at redemption. Look. They will be honored to die at the hands of our guest. Enough! I am not doing this. Mm. Uh, fear not, friends. We will make sure justice is delivered. Well, that was an unmitigated disaster. You said fight, so I fought. The problem is that I didn't say fight. I said be as entertaining as possible. This won't help the relations between your people. The humans will see what's going on eventually. The games have failed. The humans are restless, and it's only a matter of time before they make their own entertainment. Their hunger for violence is insatiable. You just need to keep surprising them. Think like a human, not an issue. That's what I tried to do. But you showed the criminals mercy, and the crowd reacted as I expected. Killing people who can't defend themselves isn't entertainment, it's slaughter. Their sacrifice helps us keep the peace and maintain order. Or it would have if you played along. What are you saying, Radiros? That my grand experiment has failed. There's nothing left to be done but start again and try for better results. The arena must be cleared! This is madness. The champion has been bested! Our mighty Vicastis is victorious and the crowd have spoken. But will she show mercy? Or we'll see spill the blood we want. If you don't appease the crowd, I fear what Gadiros will do. It was an honor to fight you, Dicastis. You fought honorably. A fitting end to a glorious life spent in service to you, the audience. Now, on to the grand finale. And here we are, the end of today's event. Next to face our Dicastis' judgment, the very scum that taints our city. By the gods, what is this? For the good of Atlantis, today bear witness to the guilty and condemned given one final chance at redemption. Look. They will be honored to die at the hands of our guest. If they're criminals, then this has to be done. Let the slaughter commence! The guilty and condemned have been judged. Hail our wise the Castis! What a show! What a show! The people seemed entertained. And why wouldn't they be? You put on a performance for the ages. If this kind of entertainment keeps the peace, then maybe it has value. I know the game seems barbaric, but sometimes we must feed the primitive beast within to keep it dormant. Now, I must begin preparing for my next great event. Thank you for your help, Vicastis. <laughs>